Two students receive Rotary honors. We'll have the details ahead. Also on the broadcast, we'll have volleyball and soccer results. All this and more coming up, coming up on KFOI Daily News. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. Let Kirk and John give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Good morning, Forest Age High School. I'm Liana Lador. It is National Chewing Gum Day. Celebrate by buying a pack of your favorite flavor of chewing gum and sharing it with your friends. And I'm Blake Pearson. Today is Wednesday, September 30th, 2015, and here are today's news and announcements. The Independence Rotary Club honored high school student leaders Jenna Frazier and Aaron Crozier at a recent meeting. Superintendent Jason Snodgrass escorted the seniors to the luncheon where they meet up, met up with their parents. Both students are high performers in the classroom. Frazier is president of the student council and Crozier runs cross country. The school will host a college fair on October 1st from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the practice gym. Representatives from more than 40 schools and military groups will be available to provide you with information on their schools and programs to answer any questions you might have. The library is promoting the 2016 Gateway Reader Award program. The purpose of the Gateway Readers Award is to promote literature, literacy, and reading in Missouri high schools, and to recognize authors and illustrators of books that are favorites of Missouri students in these grades. Each year, Missouri students in grades 9 through 12 vote for their favorite book from a list of nominated titles. This year, this year you can choose from 15 titles, including All, All Our Yesterdays by Christian Terrell, All the Truth That's in Me by Julie Berry, or Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. For a complete list, visit the Library Media Center. Read at least three of the titles by March 1st, 2016, and vote for your favorite young adult book. When we come back, we'll have your today's weather report. There's always fun in store at Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more in Independence. Visit the store, choose, create, and celebrate your customized design on a wide selection of apparel and gifts. Your order can be printed and ready within 24 hours. Let Big Frog outfit you today. Enjoy a dance club experience at Lunar Bowl with disco lighting, current and classic music videos playing on our 10-foot big screens, and your BFFs. Explore one of our weekend cosmic bowling sessions and get your bowling groove on. Hey, Fort Osage. It's Cassandra Ritchie with your weather. And it looks like your current conditions right over here are going to be 52 degrees and sunny. Today's forecast is going to be warmer, and it's going to be 70 degrees. Tonight's forecast is going to cool down a lot and it's going to be 47 degrees. And then tomorrow's forecast is going to be a little cooler and be uh, 68 degrees. Now we're going to move on to your radar. And it looks like we have some rain forming up right here. And we, it, there's a likely chance of it coming down to us. Now we're going to move on to your five day forecast. And it looks like Friday is going to be partly, or, yeah, partly cloudy. And then on Saturday, Sunday, mm, so Saturday and Sunday is going to be cloudy, and the same thing with Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> okay, that's all we have for your weather. Now after this, we'll have today's sports report. The Blue Springs 8 Theater at 1901 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs offers you a friendly atmosphere to view the top box office movies. Enjoy refreshments from their full-service snack bar, and then relax in one of their eight theaters featuring comfortable roomy seating. Catch these recent releases this week at the Blue Springs 8.
everybody, it's Madison Hansen with your KFOI Sports. The varsity volleyball team had a tough time with Staley last night. The Indians lost in two sets, 11-25 and 11-25. Fallon Little did what she could with kills like this one and Shelby Smith added a good outside hit to try and spark the Indians offensively. Sydney Smith came out with some big digs in the game as the Indians were on the defense most of the match. Allie Barrett and Emily Youngmeyer teamed up for a nice block on Staley standout Sarah Wineland, but it simply was not enough as the Indians fell to 4-16 and 16 on the season. The JV lost to the Fal Falcons in three sets, 25-20, 18-25, and 7-25. The boys' varsity soccer team fell to 3-9-1 and one on the season, and Oda and three in conference with a four to nothing loss to Liberty North. The JV lost one to nothing to the Eagles. I'll be right back with the Indian sports calendar. Hey Fort Osage Indians, Matt Mitchell here down at Culver's. Welcome back to another great school year. We're super excited to be a broadcast sponsor for your broadcast group at Fort Osage this year. And we just want to let you know to get the year started, we want you to, on Friday nights, know that you can wear any Indians gear, whether it's a hat, a shirt, whatever it is that says your school name on it, come by Culver's anytime between five and close and you'll get 10% off your entire order. Come in for a delicious butter burger or some frozen custard, whether it's in Blue Springs or off I-70 on Little Blue Parkway. With that gear, you'll get 10% off your order. Thanks a lot. Can't wait to see you. Thanks, Madison. On this day in history in 1791, Mozart's opera The Magic Flute premiered in Vienna, Austria. Our ACT word of the day is predatory, which means victimizing or destroying others. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day, Indians.